I hope you had a good breakfast today. I did. You're gonna work it off. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Do you live in a barn? Mr. Good morning, Mr. Heidecker. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey guys. Thank you. <clears throat> All rise for the Honorable Judge Sintek. <clears throat> this court is in session. Please be seated. <clears throat> this is, I believe, day four of the people of the state of California versus Timothy Richard Heidecker, case number 02CF025. Before we begin, I have some good news to you, Mr. Heidecker. I've been able to schedule the hearing on that second contempt citation for this December 4th as well. However, I must advise you, the court clerk has told me that if it's necessary to enter a third contempt citation, you will need to come back at a different time to appear for that one. So I highly advise you, since I know of your very, very busy schedule, to conduct yourself as we agreed with decorum respect and dignity. I apologize again. Uh, there are no excuses for dis uh, destruction of property. Uh, um, uh, I will just want to, for the record, state that I was not uh, aware of uh, the prosecution's witness of uh, Ayaka, and that came as a surprise for me. Obviously, there's a lot of emotion there, and uh, I, I have no excuse for it, but that is, that's the root of it. So. Okay, thank you. And I will again admonish the jury that Mr. Heidecker's conduct should not be any part of your deliberations on the merits of this matter. Mr. Heidecker, the prosecution has arrested. Do you have any evidence, witnesses to present? Yes, Your Honor. I would love to call my first witness. He is a world-renowned musician, a respected DJ in the EDM community. He is uh, here on his own volition and out of his own busy schedule. Let's please welcome to the stage uh, Orion Jacks. And Orion, there he is. Take the stand, please, sir. Okay. swear under the penalty of perjury to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I do. So God. I do. Thank you, Orion Jax, for being here. Uh, can you please state for the record your uh, full name, legal name? Jack Orion. Okay. And Mr. Orion, you were a uh, big, sort of a big part of the Desert Sun uh, Music Fe Desert Sun Music Festival, correct? Yeah. And uh, do you, uh, if you would just sort of uh, recall the events of the night from your own memory, I think that would be very helpful in illuminating to uh, the jury here. Well, I mean, it was chill. Like uh, it was cool. Uh, I didn't get to play. I mean, you know, because all the kids died, but. Uh, it was, I mean, it was cool. Uh, a little bit disappointing. Like, I mean, there was no, there was no food, there was no water, so there was no catering or anything like that. Which is well, there was a little catering. Long. Pardon me. There was, uh, we had there was food uh, brought in for the for the artists. I don't, not, not for me. There wasn't. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. So I mean, and that's the, it was a little bit of a shock because that was the first festival I ever was supposed to play at. The, right. But you didn't. So you didn't see the um, styrofoam boxes of Mexican food. No. Where, where was that? In do we have the uh, excuse me? Do we have the festival uh, map? Excuse me. Hold on. Uh, we have this from earlier. Do you mind if I use this? This was the main stage, correct? Mm -hmm. And I believe the VIP backstage was. I'm s okay, well, you guys didn't put this on the, it was back in this area here. Mm -hmm. And we had a bunch of tacos and stuff. I didn't see that. 
but by, by, about, well, about five o'clock, we had like seven bags of Mexican food, like burritos and stuff. Not from what I saw. Okay. Huh. I didn't even have any water, man. I know. Well, there huh. was... So... Yeah, we don't want to show that. Um, All right, well, we don't need to, we don't worry about that anymore. So, I, I was under the impression that you thought that things were running, that if, if what happened here, the poor kids, with the accident that happened with them, that it would have been just like any other festival for you. Has that, has your, has your recollection changed? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, the usual festival for me, I get paid at the end of it. I haven't even been paid yet, so yeah, that's definitely, okay. that's not. Uh, Normal right. for me. What was the arrangement for... Uh, 50K. I, I was supposed to get 50K. 50K. Okay. Yeah. Right. That's how much we talked about that. Well, yeah, obviously, I'm we're... still waiting to get paid. <laughs> we're, we're in sort of the middle of something here. I don't yeah, but that notice. doesn't matter. I mean, I showed up. I did my part. I was supposed to play, right? And I was ready to play. I, I, I was ready for everything. I didn't get any money. So... I don't really care about the way the court proceedings are going. I mean, I still need to be paid, so. Well, not if, um, I, yeah, but as you can tell, the, you know, everything's, be, obviously we shouldn't, this isn't, we're not gonna talk about money right now because this is not the time or the place, but, so, you know, basically it was arrested that night and everything's been frozen since then. So you, you, you shouldn't worry about that. That's gonna get taken care of. That's why you're here. Yeah, if not, we'll be back here. Okay, I don't know uh, what that's Mr. supposed Heidecker, to be. Mr. Heidecker, is there a line of questioning here that's somehow relevant well, to this case? Yes, there is, Judge, because as a witness to my, I am a, my own witness, and I have, I can confirm, and, and we, you have to confirm this, that you said to me um, the night of the, the festival before you were going to play, that I said, are you having a good time? Yeah, no, I had a cool time. But what that was your answer? Yeah, it was a cool time. I was chilling. There Thank were a couple you. good sets. I was watching a couple good things going on. But I mean, at the end of the night. So if you're having a good time and at the end of the night, something bad happens, like you don't get paid or people start dying, then of course, what you said previous, that kind of, you know, doesn't really matter, does it? Well, that's for the jury to decide. Okay. Cross? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So. Oh, wait a minute. I, uh. Never mind. Sorry. I know the thought, but. Mr. Orion, is that correct? Yep. Okay. Um, I just, I just want to be clear on a couple of things. So, Mr. Heidecker contacted you to perform at the festival. That's correct, yes. And he promised to pay you $50,000. Is that yep. your testimony? And when you arrived at the festival, you ended up not playing. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, and I was supposed to play. You were supposed and to I play. I never, never ended up playing. And you didn't see any food or were able to get any food? No, there was no food back there. You didn't see any water? You weren't no, able to there wasn't water. any of that back there. And he didn't pay you on that day, correct? Nope. And I still haven't been paid, so. Did we he, uh, objection asked and answered. Did he we pay you to testify? Already. I'm sorry? Did he pay you to testify today? Yes. I have no further questions. Absolutely not. I have to, may I approach the bench? No. Jack. Any further questions? For Jack, the well, may, yes, I do. Jack, what do we say? I said, I did not say I would pay you for this, for this testimony. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, I you said did. Oh, I would pay you for the festival. Yeah, but you also told, told me that you're going to pay me for this as well. I did not say yes, that. Did. We I spoke on the phone a couple nights ago about this. And you said if I come in and I testify that you would pay me. I would that's pay you for the festival, the, the money you're yeah, owed. No, 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 that's Be not what you said. That okay, was a separate well, issue. He's that was a separate issue. No. Nope. Okay, Mr. Heidegger, Miss you are not under oath as a witness. I'm here, you are here to ask okay. questions. You have well, asked the question. You've listed the answer. Any further questions? Uh... Did I, did I speak with you last night? You spoke with me a couple nights two ago. Two nights ago, I'm sorry. Two yeah. nights ago, we adjust that to the record. Two nights ago, we spoke on the phone. Mm -hmm. And during that phone conversation, I, uh, I asked you to testify on my behalf mm -hmm. to the validity and the create the conditions of the festival to give a better picture to the jury yeah. of the conditions of the festival. Yeah, and I'm That's here correct. to tell the truth. 
and you're here to tell the truth. Exactly. And we appreciate that for you. Right. And then I said, in exchange, or not in exchange, in because your testimony would be so helpful that I would be figuring out ways to make that 50K up. I would find the, to, to pay you for your work that you weren't able to do at the festival. Isn't that, isn't that? No, I, and, and it's not even about the 50K only anymore. I mean, look at what's happened. I, you know what I'm, you know we what I'm know saying? We're here, we believe me, we, we know what happened. No one is in the dark there. I, uh, there's, that, that's dishonest to say that you, uh, uh, that I was offering money for testimony. I, I, I'm here to tell the truth, okay. and I'm just telling the truth. Oh, we have no, this witness is district disregard. That will be up to the jury, Mr. Heidecker. Thank you, sir. You're excused. Thank you. That's a bad guy. That's a bad guy. Yeah, definitely. All right. Yeah. Well, good luck guy. working on it. Good, good luck Heidecker. doing with your music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sucks. Mr. Yeah. Heidecker. Right. That's why I get paid fifty thousand dollars a show. Right? Yeah, well, it's, it wouldn't be worth That's it. Something that you couldn't Fuck afford. Fuck off. Something that you couldn't afford, right? Mr. Heidecker, that third contempt citation would be about two weeks after the first two. I understand so. that, Judge, but this that lawyer or that DJ Jack Orion is a rat, and he lied to me. That's that's the truth. Well, as you noted earlier, that will be up to the jury to decide, won't it? They know what's right. They're they're smarter than all of us in this room. Do you combined. have huh? a witness, perhaps? Yes, uh, I'd like to call to the stand the uh, concert one of the. Concert goers is uh, Jesse Pop. Let me bring Jesse Pop out. Do you swear under the penalty of perjury to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I swear. Good morning, Mr. Pop. Good morning. Interesting name. Yeah, thank you. Is that your real name? Yeah, mom and dad did well. <laughs> I love it. Jesse Pop. We had an episode of uh, uh, my television show uh, with a character named Pop, actually. So, Interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's not a common name. No. I like rock, actually, more than Pop. <laughs> I'm just having a little fun. Uh, Okay, so uh, Mr. Pop, you attended the uh, Desert Sun, uh, the Electric Sun Desert Music Festival, correct? That is correct. Okay, and um, you obviously were only there Friday because the event was canceled Friday night. Um, and uh, just in your own words, paint us a picture of your experience there that Friday. I had a wonderful experience at the festival. I thought great music, good food, good vibe all around. DKR rocked and. Uh, I didn't see anyone get sick or injured or hurt at the festival, and uh, I thought Tim was doing a great job up on stage, slaying it on the laptops, making good beats for everyone. Interesting. Um, you just said, you mentioned me, the defendant, uh, playing music on stage. So you, you eyewitness to me up on stage. Of course, yeah. You're up there making sure everyone's having a great time, killing it. Yeah, and, and that you didn't see the defendant uh, handing out vape pens or being associated with this kind of... Uh, activity. I do not recall that. No. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your testimony. It was very helpful. And uh, it's good to hear the other side of the coin on that. Um, I have no further questions, but thank you very much for coming in. And of course. Really yeah, you're welcome. you're welcome. Thank you. Cross. Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Pop. How are, you, how are you today? I'm, I'm good, thank you. You're looking at your watch. You have another engagement? No, I'm just, you know, checking the time. I understand. Mm -hmm. um, what do you do for a living? I, uh, I, I do a, a lot of things. Can you tell me some of those things? I'd be very interested in knowing. Uh, well, uh, I kind of dabble. I've been in the fast food industry. Uh, I've worked uh, as a hired hand for people, uh, farming, that kind of thing, yeah. Are you an actor? No. Have you ever been employed by Mr. Heidecker? No. No. May I remind you that you're under oath, and you know the consequences for lying under oath to perjury. Your Honor, at this time, the prosecution would like to show a clip from the TV show Decker, 
which is Mr. Heidecker's show. I think we'll be quite um, informed by what we see. Hearing no objection, I will allow it. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, can Bailiff bring in the TV, please? You, Mr. Pop? Yes. I'll call to strike the witness at this point. He's my witness. I don't think we need to Your continue. Your Honor, please. May I, may I continue my questioning without interruption by the defendant? Yes, you may. May I approach the uh, witness? Yes, you may. Do you recognize this, Mr. Pop? Yes. Mr. Pop has just acknowledged his headshot on the Internet Movie Database, which is a database maintained for professional actors. And below it, you'll see his one credit for the, on the TV show Decker, which is owned by Mr. Heidecker. Your Honor, I'd like to admit this into evidence as exhibit number 28. Sure. It is admitted. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh, uh, one more question, Mr. Pop. Yes, sir. Are you being compensated by the defendant for your testimony today? Yes. I have no further questions, Your Honor. I take it you have no further questions, Mr. Heidecker? Uh, not at this time, Your Honor. The witness is excused. Thank you. Do you have any actual witnesses to call here today? Yes, I do, Your Honor. I would like to call to the uh, court acclaimed actor and... Hold on, Joe. I'd like to call to the stand uh, acclaimed actor, uh, played the president, Jason, Jason Davidson, and Jason Davidson Jr. on uh, the Decker TV show. A very good friend of the defendant. Let's welcome Joe Estevez. Hey, Joe. Hey, Jim. Get in here. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Get in there. Yes, sir. If you take the stand, please. Yes, sir. Be sworn in first. Uh, oh, um, do you swear under the penalty of perjury to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth? So help me God. I did. <clears throat> hey. This is pretty cool to have you here. I well, you know, anything I can do. Yeah. <laughs> We're uh, thrilled. I think the whole court's thrilled to have you here. Well, I'm on it. Uh, a little starstruck, I bet some of them are. Oh, so. I, I doubt that, but... Uh, uh, I uh, just uh, would may, uh, state your name. Uh, Joe Estevez. Okay. And uh, your profession? I'm a professional actor. Terrific. Uh, we know you from a number of, obviously, uh, you played Jason Davidson on Decker. Decker, absolutely. Very proud of it. And the, sort of the president. You play the president. I play the president of the United States. To, yes, sir. We don't need to school yeah. the and, court and, on that, do we? And you play my hero. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Excuse yeah. me.
Uh, I'll keep this down here. Um, Joe, uh, you've known, I will say the defendant, but we're talking about me here. Mm -hmm. You've mm -hmm. known the defendant for... Oh, gosh, I guess five, six years now at least. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. and a pretty... Uh, what, what are your general thoughts, impressions of the defendant and as, uh, a, as a guy? Uh, meaning, yeah, yeah no, I, uh, uh, Tim, I, I always thought you were uh, terrific and you and I always got along uh, together and, and uh, you know, uh, it cast me as the president on me. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, that's, uh, that's a terrific uh, uh, compliment to me and uh, uh, no, I, I, uh, I think we got a great relationship. Would... Uh, would you do the expression? Uh, would, he'd never heard a fly. That, would that apply to me? Would apply to the defendant? Would you think? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. And uh, we've uh, anything else you want to add about my character or my uh, general good, good, good intentions, goodwill, good, good naturedness? Anything you want to? Yeah. Well, you know. Uh, uh, Tim and I are obviously different generations. You know, we don't we don't hang out together. It's it's uh, uh, you know we talk off the set, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I, I always thought of, of Tim as a hail fellow and always uh, oh, there hail fellow, hail fellow, hail fellow. It's a, a old uh, term, but just just an all around good guy that that you could count on. You could you could count on Tim. So that's you can uh, count. Just I'm sorry, you. Can count on Tim. Can count on Tim. Okay. Yes, sir. That's. I mean, that's coming from Joe Estevez. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, like I say, you know, d different generations. You know, I mean, I'm not right. a not a young buck like yourself. But, right. Uh, right. But uh, you know, professionally and off camera and such, uh, swell guy. Swell guy. All right. Well, I. I uh, what are your opinions on? Uh, Excuse me, what happened here? Any feeling one way or other? I know you have some feelings about the uh, Luther Sanchez. I, you know, I, 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 frankly, I didn't know uh, uh, Luther that, that well. And, and, of course, I think this is... But you uh, formed an opinion on him. Well, uh, I, I don't want... I, I, I really, I, I don't want to say. I mean, you know... Because I, I mean, I, I don't really know the person. But you would think you would assume he was the one responsible for what happened here. Well, you know, I know you, and mm -hmm. and uh, I, I know you to be a good guy, and yeah. I, you know, I, 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 I. Yeah, I just. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. ask the question again. Okay. Do you right. think that the, that I could that the defendant could be complicit, could be involved in this kind of activity? Much more so than say you. You say, okay, Joe, you're confusing the audience. Uh, I'm the, I, okay, I, I know you, and I know you to be a straight shooter and a good guy. You made the record show, uh, Mr. Estevez is talking about the defendant. Yeah, I, I, I know the, the defendant to be a, a straight shooter and a good guy. Uh, I don't know this other fellow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know. Yeah. You know. But do, uh, I'm going to ask you again, and yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you to be, to be honest here yeah. and to be straight. Okay. And not... not do circles around the truth. Okay. These kids here who who are dead now. Yeah. They're blaming it on me. It, is it something that you believe I could ever do? Oh no, no. of course not. No, no. I, I think it was of course it was a tragedy, uh, an incredibly uh, unfortunate incident. And you know, you hate to say, well well things like this happen, but uh, things like this happen, and, it, and it's a shame. Uh, you know, we wish we could tur turn the clock back. That we do. But I, you know, for babies, no, you're not responsible for that. Thank you for that. I have no further questions, and thank you very much. And this is a, a, one of the great men out there. So that, let's remember that. No further questions, Your Honor. Do the people wish to engage in cross examination? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Joe. <clears throat> Hi, Mr. Estevez. Hi. You stated that you've known the defendant for about five or six years, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And that you've talked offset, off camera, I think is what you said? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Have you ever been to Tim's home? To his, uh, 
like I say, it's a different generation, so we run in you know different circles. So no, no. So the answer would be no. Have you spent any time with him outside of working on the Decker TV series? Uh, well, we do uh, have done other uh, TV things together. Yes. So uh, uh, besides Decker, yes. We, we've so you've done other TV things, but have you spent any personal time with him? Well, we've done lunch together. Okay. You know. Have you ever been to a DKR, a Decker performance? No, ma'am, no. Did you ever have a chance to observe the interaction between Tim Heidecker and Dr. Sam? Not really. No, maybe, you know, no, no, not really. So nothing struck you as alarming, alarming or out of the usual? No, no. I mean, like, like I said, I really do, uh, I don't even know this. Dr. Sands, really. In your opinion, did Tim ever seem to be off, like possibly he was on drugs while working? Uh, I, I, you know, I mean, that's just an opinion thing. I mean, it, 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 maybe, sometime, maybe, I, I don't know, it's, a, it, you know. Did Tim have a drug problem? <sighs> well, y you know, we, we, uh, we, we thought so. We had a, a you know, a, a stage and intervention for him, you know, after I'm sorry, he, who's we? Uh, well, me and some of the uh, fellow actors and his friends, you know. Uh, John Appear. Objection. Uh, There's relevance to, my, to the defendant's uh, overall history. Thank you. I'm sorry, you can go ahead with your answer. Uh, no, she said, oh, I'm sorry. You said overruled? Uh, said your objection is overruled. I thought you meant her question. No. Continue. I'm sorry. You were saying that you and some of the actors and the crew and various other people decided to throw an intervention. Well, to Tim, Tim's friends. You know, we 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 thought he, uh, uh, you know, he he may have a little problem. You know, after he set himself on fire. Ah. Oh. I'm sorry, could you repeat that just in case the jury didn't hear that? Uh, he, had an, I, he had an accident. I, I don't know the, the, the circumstances behind it, but, you know, he got hurt pretty badly in a, in a blaze, uh, in a fire. Where he set himself on fire, I believe Well, I, you, let me retract that. I, I, you know, he was burnt in a fire. I don't, I, I set himself on fire, I, you know. <laughs> and did you observe that his issues with the drugs got better after the intervention? Well, I, uh, I mean, I, you know, it's, you, you can't tell something like that. I mean, you know. I have no further questions for this witness, Your Honor. Okay. Redirect, Mr. Heidecker. For the jury. Keep that Mr. Heidecker. I'm sorry. Do you have any further questions for your witness? No. Thank you, Joe. You're excused. We'll talk later. Okay. I yep. excuse the witness. And Sir Estevez, thank you for your testimony. You are excused. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And, Your Honor, I'd like to request that the jury be reminded that signs written by the defendant held up in their direction are not admissible as evidence. Thank you. The actions of Mr. Heidecker while sitting at council table are not evidence, they are not testimony, they have no bearing whatever on the merits of this case. That's not a problem, Your Honor. This will be used in my closing statement. For and sure. it will go back on the table right now. Thank you. Are there any further witnesses to call? Yes, uh, Your Honor. I have uh, another witness that I would uh, like to call who is in the courtroom at this hour. And uh, his name, we've seen him before, I'd like to bring him back to the witness stand, is Greg Turkington. We have called Greg Turkington to the stage. <clears throat> Mr. Turkington, I will remind you, you are still under oath. So, uh, do it again, 
Mr. Turkington. Thank you for uh, getting back up on the stand to uh, answer some questions I have. <clears throat> so you're very uh, interested in the trial. You've been joining us in the in the galley throughout this proceeding. These proceedings. You have any personal relationship with uh, the outcome, or are you just a fan of courtroom proceedings? Well, no, I was there for everything that happened, so of course I'm interested in seeing what happens. Okay. And uh, on your testimony, I believe it was the first day of testimony. Uh, it might have been the second day. You. Uh, second day. It, thank you very much. You indicated that you were a expert uh, of uh, film, mm -hmm. and I think. Uh, well established. I think it's important to to understand. Uh, actually, something uh, the the. Uh, Judge uh, Simnack here reminded us at the beginning of the trial is that if one part of a witness's testimony is either incorrect or false, then his entire testimony has to be removed from the record. Is that correct, Judge? I believe you mischaracterized the instruction. The instruction is certainly, if anything proves to be false, that will taint the hmm. jury's view of the entire testimony, but it is still in the jury's discretion to evaluate the remainder of the testimony in light of the observation that there was a falsehood. Understood. Um, and But I think it's important to, uh, to clarify this witness who has identified himself as a, a film buff, a film that's historian. That's not Well, that's what, that's, uh, please, can you? Just simply respond to questions. I'm just please. answering what he's saying. Please I'm not asking you questions. questions. It is important that we establish the validity of the claim that prosecution has made that this man here before you is a film well, check expert. The Excuse me. I and please proceed with your questioning along those lines. Thank you. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and you can answer them however you see fit. But I just want to remind the jury that this is to establish whether Objection, or not... Objection, Your Honor, the defendant is testifying to the jury. Yes. Please confine your remarks to questions to your witness. Mr. Turkington, your uh, favorite movie? It would be like a, probably a three-way tie. With Casablanca, um, Jaws, Gone with the Wind, and then Coming up on the rear, like um, Sleepless in Seattle, and probably um, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and... All right, I asked for your favorite movie, not and top ten. you're talking about single movies, those would be them. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about a series, it would be Bond or Hobbit or Lord of the Rings. Okay. But if you pick those, that would be several movies. So I you understand. Have to categorize Thank that you. Thank you. And um, reminder, you are under oath. Have you seen the film Citizen Kane? I've seen it seven times. Okay. Um, that is, in fact, a lie. So we can make that. All right, eight times. Maybe I'm wrong by one, but he I've hasn't seen it once, Your Honor. Mr. Heidecker. Rosebud is the last line of the movie. If anybody wants to check that, that would be. Evidence. Rosebud. Well, we'll have to look into that. Well, uh, it's pretty. Excuse me. Knowledge. Thank you. Uh, a couple it. more questions, and then I'll let you go. Back to your busy day of watching movies, like a loser. Yeah, uh, Objection, Your Honor. What is, how would you describe that? How would you sustained. describe that, that behavior, sitting around watching these movies? Please over direct over. your comments to the bench and not to other counsel. How would you describe it, Judge, a man who sits around watching movies all day, these sleepless in Seattle Hobbit movies? Is that a winner? It's better please, than killing people at a proceed. music festival. That, no, that's, uh, that deserves a punishment right there, That's because that's tampering but with you the evidence. you brought it up, huh? Mr. Heidecker. Okay, I will wrap things up here. Please. Have you seen the movie Sully starring yes. Tom Hanks? I was at the I was at a critical a critic sneak peek before the actual okay. premiere. All right. Three days before the premiere, they had a sneak peek for critics, Finally. which only the best and most esteemed. You're on the record as saying you've seen it, even well, though I've the evidence. I'll show you. I'll show evidence here. You have here. responded to the question. I'll, I'll show evidence. Heidecker. Thank you, Mr. Heidecker. I have I evidence. That, I have evidence that shows him admitting to have not seen. I saw Sully. it before Sully himself saw the movie. Because he was at the world premiere, but I was at the critic sneak peek. So, 
I've seen the movie. Final question. Where's the evidence that I haven't seen it? I would submit that to Mr. court. Mr. Torkington, please. I will submit Respond that. Respond to questions. Thank you. Final question. You're familiar with the Star Trek uh, franchise? The movie franchise. I'm not so much into the TV one, but the, the original movies and also the remakes, yes. Okay. And can you clarify for, uh, for the court here? Uh, Star Trek II mm -hmm. was... Uh, was that shot? Was that did that uh, show? Did that movie take place in San Francisco? Yes, it did. San Francisco shot there and also set there because the uh, the Starship Enterprise returns to San Francisco. Okay, and to jump ahead, Star Trek IV does not take place in no, San Francisco. That takes place a place in outer space. Okay, I have no most further. of the Star Trek movies do. I have no further questions here. Thank you very much. People wish to cross-examine. Uh, no, Your Honor, we're done asking the witness questions. Mr. Torkington, you're excused. Thank for you. Your testimony. If I could just make one quick statement to the court. Please make it brief. Yeah. Uh, we uh, have been through a lot, everybody, and uh, I just want to re just remind everybody that we uh, just heard from Mr. Turkington that um, some so-called film expert who also had quite a bit to say about my character and quite a bit to say about the um, events as they took place, as we discuss, uh, has said a number of untruths today in his testimony, and that will be proven uh, without a shadow of a doubt tomorrow in court. So stay tuned for that. <sighs> any further witnesses or evidence to put on today, Mr. Uh, Heidecker? I do not have any further witnesses today, Your Honor. All right, then. We will stand in recess. We're in recess.